always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back. I hope that you gave yourself some extra time to get where you needed to go this morning. It was definitely a slippery situation out there, and roads are still pretty wet and slick in spots, especially as you travel further north, where we have more of that precipitation being divvied out in the form of snow. Now we expect to have some periods of dense fog in the coming nights, as we'll be melting off some more of this snow with relatively mild temperatures. Highs are going to be up near 40 degrees. As we get the live view outside here in Allendale, Michigan, you can see that we have some uh, pretty quiet conditions with cloudy skies above. And as we look at things at the Gerald Ford International Airport, again, seeing uh, that light mixed precipitation continue. Primarily in the form of rain, though, now, as that warmer air continues to migrate in from areas further south. You can see that we do still have that division as you move further north of Grand Rapids at this time in Interstate 96 and up north toward Big Rapids. That's where we're still seeing some flakes fall right now. We'll zoom in closer to the south. You can see it along Interstate 94 toward Kalamazoo and Portage. We do have some light rainfall happening at this time as you move toward the Lakeshore and South Haven closer toward Grand Rapids. Some very light rainfall too. some sprinkles at the moment and further off to the north. That's where we have some more uh, heavier stronger amounts of some snow that are continuing to fall out of the skies where we have some of that colder air situated at this point toward Mount Pleasant. Winter weather advisories have been allowed to expire across most of West Michigan. We did have those for pretty much all of our counties earlier this morning, but you can still see that those continue for Muskegon County. Also, as you approach Montcalm and also uh, Ionia counties, that'll be expiring at four o'clock this afternoon. So still use a little bit of extra caution here in the short term. It looks like that mix is going to be tapering off toward the evening, and then we'll see some more rain and foggy conditions getting into Thursday. Your current temperatures, those are in the lower to middle 30s. It's 36 in Muskegon, 33 Fremont. We have a temperature of 34 in Ionia, 34. The update also in Battle Creek. So here's a look forward in our future cast. It shows that we are going to have that precipitation continue to drift away to the northeast. And by 9 o'clock tonight, it looks like that should be completely over throughout the area. But we will have some very dense fog and the cloud cover will stay thick. Now, as we travel into the morning on Wednesday, you can see our next round of rain work in from southwest to northeast. You know, it looks like that's going to be bringing us about a quarter to a half an inch of precipitation, that being the total from Wednesday to Thursday. Now, as we look at our visibility here, that is going to be a pretty big issue as we get into tonight and tomorrow, as we are going to have some very dense fog form. This is what that visibility situation could be like early on Wednesday. So another morning you're wanting to going to want to give yourself some extra time to get where you need to go. There's those precipitation chances for Wednesday and Thursday, warm enough that it should stay all in the form of rain, still staying foggy into Friday with cloudy skies above and becoming just a little bit cooler as we get into next weekend. High temperatures, though, still above average, upper 30s, 38 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Not a whole lot of sunshine in the mix, though. It does look like we will clear the skies some as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of the coming week, and high temperatures should be situated in the middle 30s. So it looks like we are going to be melting off a lot of snow in the coming days, Emily. Yeah. Well, I was out early this morning, and I thought to myself, uh-oh, <laughs> snow day. Snow day for the kids again. No right. school. Yeah, that was true for uh, a lot of schools here across the area. And it looks like uh, as we go through the next few days, fog is going to be a pretty big problem as well. So we'll have to see if there's some more delayed starts yeah. or um, things of that nature moving forward now. All right, Scott. Thank you.